So the preseason AP Top 25 poll was released yesterday for women's college basketball. Hey, stick around, see who comes out on top. Welcome back, everybody. Gamecock Chuck here with another video today. Like, share, uh, hit the notification button, subscribe, uh, hit the comment button. Let me know if you like this content. Help me out by doing all them things. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. As you heard in the intro video, uh, yesterday the uh, AP Top 25 was released for the uh, this season's women's college basketball. Um, I'll give you a rundown of uh, the Top 25 and start from the bottom and go to the top. Um, and we'll, you know, see who's up at the top, see who finishes uh, preseason rank number one. Starting off at number 25 is the uh, Texas Longhorns. You know, uh, then you have the Virginia Tech Lady Hokies coming in at 24. Number 23 is Texas A&M. Number 22 is Arizona. Number 21 is South Florida. Number 20 is UCLA. Uh, coming in at number 19 is uh, West Virginia Mountaineers. Uh, number 18 is uh, Georgia Tech. Uh, number 17, I think actually 17 and 18 is probably tied. I think they had the same amount of vote. But uh, coming in at 17, I put there is uh, Ohio State. Uh, coming in at number 16 is Florida State, the Lady Seminoles. Uh, coming in at number 15 in the preseason poll is uh, Tennessee, the Lady Volunteers. Number 14 is uh, Oregon State. Uh, coming in at number 13 is Kentucky, the Lady Wildcats. Uh, coming in at number 12 is Iowa State, followed by number 11, Michigan. Uh, cracking the top 10, uh, making the top 10 at number 10 is Oregon, the Lady Ducks. Um, coming in at number 9 is Iowa. Uh, before that, coming in at number 8 is Indiana. Uh, before Indiana, we have number 7, Baylor. Coming in at number 6 is Louisville. And in the top 5, uh, Basically, no surprise, you know, if anybody, everybody out there that follows women's college basketball, this is, you know, no surprise what the top five is. And, you know, maybe it might be a different order for some people. But according to the AP poll and the way they rank the teams, coming in at number five is uh, the Lady Wolfpack of uh, NC State uh, off of a very impressive uh, season last year. Number four is the Lady Terrapins from Maryland. Uh, coming in at number three is the Cardinals, the Lady Cardinals from Stanford. Uh, the number two team in the preseason poll is the UConn Lady Huskies, which leaves the number one preseason poll team ranked in the preseason poll is none other than the Lady Gamecocks of South Carolina, baby. That's right. Dawn Staley has earned a preseason number one for the second consecutive year. You know, they return all 11 players from last year's Final Four team brought in the number one recruiting class. Uh, Dawn Staley just got a seven-year, $22.4 million contract. So, you know, it's time. Well, it's not, I'm going to say it's time. You know, I think what she's done for the, you know, the Lady Gamecocks has been nothing but exceptional. You know, she's done a really fantastic job with our program, bringing it from the, from the ground up. Um, you know, this money is well-deserved. And uh, like I said in my, one of my other videos, you know, it's well-deserved. Um, she's going to earn every penny because I mean, if you look at our schedule, as I said in one of my other videos, you know, we have one of, if not the toughest uh, schedule in all of women's college basketball, in my opinion. You know, we start off on the road, uh, number five, NC State, you know, teamed it. We've We've lost two straight two, basically. Um, mix that in with uh, hosting number four, Maryland at home. Uh, number three, Stanford at home. Um, number two, UConn at home, uh, which we've had pits with UConn. Uh, Stanford, they beat us in the Final Four last year. Um, not to mention, you play we play Kentucky twice this year. We play Tennessee. And then we also play Texas A&M twice. So if you look at that, there's a total of, if you count the, the games we played twice, that's a total of like nine games, basically. So um, 
we got one of the toughest schedules. And then if you mix in, if we have the opportunity in the Bad Boys, Moors, Women's Battle, Fort Atlantis, little tournament that we're playing out in uh, in the Bahamas, at Paradise Island, Bahamas, you know, we may have an opportunity to play another top 10 team in Oregon. So it just depends on, depends on how it plays out out there in the Bahamas. And who knows, we may, we may be matched up against Oregon. So that'd be another top 10 team or another top 25 team right there from the preseason. And, you know, who knows, you know, this poll, as the season goes along, we may add, we may add one or two more uh, top 25s. Depends on Florida, the Lady Gators get hot or Georgia, they right there just outside of the top 25. So they could get hot and, we may end up having to play Georgia. I can't remember if it's twice or not, but we may end up having to play Georgia. So if that's the case, that'd be another top 25 team we play. So, hey, if you like this uh, poll, if, if you agree with or disagree, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my channel if you like this content. Also share this content with all your friends, anybody that likes Gamecocks uh, sports related or just you know, just college sports in general. I try to put out a couple of videos a week. Some, some are Gamecocks. Most of it are Gamecocks content. I also try to put a couple of videos that are not Gamecock content. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And until next time, Gamecock Chuck, and I'm out, baby.